G'day Off Trackers. Welcome back to another product review Wednesday. So seeing as this was liked a fair bit, got, got a lot of uh, good comments last week and people asked me to keep doing it, we'll keep doing it. So this week I thought I would review my fridge setup. So for those of you who've been following me for a fair while now, you will have noticed that I did change for the last long trip we did my complete fridge setup, 100% revamped. I went from a Dometic dual zone fridge freezer, uh, that's basically two compressors in the one unit, 75 litre, into an upright, uh, and then a single little fridge down the bottom here, Ash, if you want to show them that one. Uh, and basically I thought I'd run into why I swapped first and then I'll give some feedback on them. So the reason we swapped, Ash is pretty vertically challenged to say the least. So having a slide out fridge, she needed a step to get into it even then it was hard for her to see. And even with me, I needed the step to be able to see into it. Uh, so that was a bit annoying. You can get drop down fridges, they weigh about 40 kilos. So fair chunk of your GVM to give up just to a slide. Uh, then the chest fridges are also a lot heavier than your uprights as well. The other reason we swapped, we got sick of basically grabbing the milk or the juice out and all the food falling in where that was and then for you to try and put it back in, you have to pull everything out and re-put it back in. Just make camping not as fun. So we gave one of these a crack. Uh, I've used it before up in the NT and I rated it. So again, I got this one. The reason I went the Dometic over the Bushmans uh, everyone obviously push, Bushmans are really good, really low draw. These also really low draw. Uh, but the reason I've picked the Dometic is this reason. So you have a freezer which is the full length. The Bushmans only gives you half, but it can be fully removed and give you fridge space. So to me, that is definitely a massive win for the Dometic. So that all becomes fridge then. The other big plus you get your little vegetable crisper in here. So another door that keeps everything contained. Plus your door here can actually carry a two litre milk or juice. Versus your Bushmans can only carry one litre. So Ingle as well, I believe, can do two, uh, but they don't have the removable freezer. So this one just had so many more positives. Also, it's one of the longest running upright fridges in the market. Uh, they haven't changed this compressor in this thing. I think it's about 20 years, the rep from Dometic was telling me. So I just decided why I move away from something that works. Uh, and then I got the little 25 litre, basically just to use as a freezer. Only when we actually need it. If we don't do long trips, that doesn't live in the car. So again, cutting down with weight, and it's purely just a freezer. And then also again, cutting down the current drawer. Going into that, uh, this one here, so basically I ran it for two days straight in 30 degree temperature and it only took 20, it was under 20% of my 120 amp hour battery. Uh, and then I think I ran it from basically 9.30 at night till 11 the next day and it averaged 0.5 of an amp draw. So they are incredibly sufficient, incredibly good fridges and I cannot cannot rate it enough swapping to an upright. People sort of complain about, doesn't your food get thrown around when you four wheel drive? If you're worried about that, these little things they sell at uh, TJM. So they have TJM Underwood, Cooper's Plains, Northside Off-Road and TJM Gold Coast sell these, as well as they have an online store. Uh, and these basically just go into the fridge and then you twist it and lock it into place. They are more designed for your 85 litre and above, which is, as you can see, I've had to cut that down just to get to fit, but that was no big drama to do it, but they're an absolute lifesaver if you're doing some heavy off-roading. Uh, and then the only other thing to mention with mounting them. So I wanted to save weight. That was the main exercise of doing this. Get rid of the fridge slide, get rid of the heavy fridge, save some weight. So I didn't want to put a fridge enclosure around it. Yes, it looks nice, but it adds an extra 12 kilos. So I wasn't interested. Didn't want to drill into the fridge. So if Ash comes in close here, you'll get to see the option that I did. So I just went down to my local Bunnings, got some of these big uprights, and that's just held on with double-sided tape. Double-sided tape's more so to stop it scratching because there's one on all three sides, which means it can't go backwards, can't go sideways. 
only way I can go forwards, which then the door stops it, and I've just put on the door uh, one of my weightlifting neck pads. So there's no physical way that fridge can ever move. Uh, and then the double-sided tape is basically there to stop it lifting up, but it's held in place really firm. So all up mounting brackets, I reckon I'm using two kilos of extra weight. So that's a really easy way to do it, super lightweight, and doesn't take up much space. So other than that, guys, not much to say about it. That's Product Review Wednesday. If you've got anything you want to ask me, just drop it in the comments and I'll reply to you. And as always, like and subscribe. See you next time.